to my channel. So I'm here doing a very special get the look. I'm going to be doing Gigi Hadid at the Met Gala, as you probably read in the title. I am literally here trying to rep the theme. So this year's theme is Heavenly Bodies, Fashion, and the Catholic Imagination. I'm going to be talking about my best dressed, who I didn't like. As I'm doing this makeup tutorial, the more elevated you are, the better in my opinion. So that's kind of how I'm going to be judging the red carpet and some of my favorite looks and calling out people that need to step their game up. All right, if you don't really like these more chatty videos, then I'll catch you on the next one for sure. So Gigi actually wore Versace on the red carpet. I really loved it. I think she looked beautiful that night. It wasn't my favorite though. It really wasn't. When I first saw her walk down the red carpet, I automatically was like, yeah, stained glass. And then, you know, she started interviewing and she did mention that. <laughs> but then when I saw her full length body, it kind of looked bird-like, like peacock. Like. But overall, I think she looked very angelic and beautiful and at least she did go with the theme and it was a very creative inspiration. I'm telling you, this is going to be pretty chatty because I love this shit. So, let's go ahead and get right into the makeup look. So I'm just applying that all over my face. What we did see a lot of on the red carpet were tons of halos oh my gosh which is so symbolic in catholic iconography tons of that i knew that was gonna happen for sure just a lot of headwear in general whether it be reminiscent of the pope like what rihanna did and i'm just going in with the maybelline fit me foundation this is in the dewy finish dewy and smooth supposedly patrick used a ton of maybelline products on Gigi that night i doubt it but i mean will believe allure. I don't have too many Maybelline products to be honest, but I do like this foundation and I think it's a great one from the drugstore. So we did see a lot of variations on headwear and veils and hoods. Oof, these eyebrows, you guys. And trains, long, long, long trains were definitely a thing, but I feel like that's every Met Ball ever since Rihanna did, you know, the dress the yellow dress. Everybody wants that train moment. Now I'm just brushing my eyebrows. I love Gigi's brows. I feel like they're thick but so groomed in the color. Let's see what it is. Dark brown. Groom these babies up. Let's go into the eyes and then I'll conceal and do all that. Supposedly he used the Maybelline Soda Pop palette. I have this guy here which I feel like I'm going to be using the most of. It's the Zodiac palette by BH Cosmetics. Very fun, tons of colors as you saw. And then just in case, because I really like this purple here. She has like some purples going on. We'll see if I can do it. First, I'm going to start with the crease. I'm going to take this color Fantasy. We saw a lot of heavy embroidery as well, which is very much in the Byzantine, Byzantine, Byzantine. I'm going to take the shade, this like dark purple shade here from the Zodiac palette. And I'm just going to... Put that right over the crease as well. Kind of mute it down and make it a bit more cool tone and also give it some depth. And I'm just gonna blend that further with this. We saw a ton of red, of course, in the Middle Ages. Red denoted power. It was really, like colors were so symbolic and a status indicator. So a lot of people with wealth and like nobility. And then of course, religious authorities like the Pope and his cardinals it's like why it's called cardinal red right we saw a lot of that i feel like Gigi's is softer let me just like smoke this out i don't know how we're doing i'm talking too much it did look like it came out a bit like elongated here and then of course the other big color of the night was gold i think emily radikowski her whole dress I read was made of like actual real gold, which is what they would do in the past. They would have real gold thread. So I thought that was pretty cool actually. I thought her look was kind of like, I mean, it suits her so perfectly, but I mean, there's other people that really went for it. I'm gonna mix Gemini and Cancer, these two, to just kind of sheer this color out. And I'm gonna apply that on my lid. It looks it's very icy, but yeah, tons of gold on the carpet. I think Carrie Washington, I thought her look was actually pretty boring, but then, I mean, it was actually pretty fitting for the theme. Literally the exact silhouette and it was in gold, so, and I think her hair and makeup, she looked killer, but yeah, I thought she was pretty like snoozeville. I mean, I can appreciate a minimalistic look, I guess, but I would have went for it if I was invited. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take Gemini on my finger and just dot it. Here she has a really pretty inner corner highlight. 
And I feel like that's what makes you look really angelic. Just kind of take the remaining and brush it out here. And then just smooth it out. The girls that really, they went over the top. I mean, Katy Perry, of course. I feel like everybody that goes over the top are just really unapologetic. They're just themselves and they're the ones that can really go for it. So like Katy Perry, Sarah Jessica Parker, Madonna, they like really, really went for the theme. And I appreciate girls that love a theme party. Jared Leto, I feel like Jared Leto was kind of dressed how he normally dresses. That was so his theme. Lana Del Rey, I didn't know they were dating by the way, That's they look really cute together. So I'm gonna go back and clean up the eye, do liner and all of that, but I'm gonna move on to the face for a minute. I'm gonna take this Flex Concealer by Milk, just to brighten up under here. So let's talk about my personal favorites. I loved Rihanna, of course, she was like Pope Couture to the T. But she's like just a Met Gala doll, like in the sense that like she's always a favorite, you know what I mean? She just knows how to work it and she knows how to bring it and she killed it, per usual. I thought SZA, she looked gorgeous. I loved, loved, loved her. I really liked Zendaya as well. That was such a good Joan of Arc reference, like you couldn't, I mean... She was Joan of Arc. She looks so beautiful and I think she also knows how to work a red carpet and she knows how to do the Met Ball very well. She doesn't look like she has crazy highlight, but I just wanted to get that nice sheen so I did the Makeup Forever Soft Light Illuminator. It's like a liquid highlight. This one's really nice. I'm just gonna contour my face with a little bit of this milk bronzer. I'll just swipe it like this here. I loved Jennifer Lopez's outfit as well. I think she really killed it. Again, sticking. She's just like her style. It's very her. And it actually reminded me a lot of, I think she was wearing Balmain. I mean, it had to be Balmain for sure. I'm just going to push this bronzer in with this elf. But yeah, Jennifer Lopez, she reminded me a lot of that famous Vogue cover. She put this model in a Christian Lacroix dress, shirt, blouse, whatever you want to call it. And that is kind of what the Balmain reminded me of a little bit. I love that cover. That's one of my favorite Vogue covers. And I love that the Christian Lacroix was paired with denim. I just thought it was so cool, so like effortless and edgy. It was just done so well. I actually think that top is on display at the Met, which is really cool. I thought that was super special just because that was Anna's first cover, I believe. I mean, I hope I'm not getting my facts mixed up. I love JLo. She killed it. Lily Collins, I thought looked so chic. I loved it and I loved her makeup. I feel like she really went for it and it paid off for her. I'm just gonna use this powder. This is like a puff. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I just wanna like mattify right here. And then also right under here. I like this little puff. Makeup by Mario always uses this. He always like has this in his hand. And he murdered Kim Kardashian's makeup. Oh, I wanted to attempt to do that one, but honestly, you guys, like there's no way in hell I can do that. I'm just being real. I'm very self-aware. She looked so flawless. I liked her dress too. I think for her, she just looked beautiful, like statuesque, like an art piece. She was just so flawless and I loved her high hair. Her makeup was literally perfection. I also liked Kendall. What I thought was really cool with what Virgil did with her pants, like her pants had a little bit of a train, but it reminded me of the really elongated tunics that they would wear in the Middle Ages. It reminded me so much of those like really elongated pointy sleeves but I thought it was genius that he put it on the pants. I don't know, I love little things like that where they like get the reference but make it their own and modern. She kind of reminded me a little bit of like a Bianca Jagger too. Like I would wear that to like an after party of my wedding. I thought it was stunning, fit her perfect. She has the perfect body for that. It just was seamless and I love the rouge sleeves with the gloves. I know it was very like simple but if you really get into the references, you'll get it. So I thought it was really great. So now that I have that powdered, I'm gonna take the Estee Lauder bronzer and just kind of deepen this contour and bronze. I really loved Bella. I'm not sure who she was wearing. Was it Chrome Hearts or something? Black was definitely another color of the night. Out of all of the black looks that I saw, I really loved Bella's. I think she looked absolutely stunning and I loved her makeup. It was like a battle between the Hadids. I didn't know which makeup I wanted to do, Bella or Gigi's, but actually some of you guys tagged me in a lot of Gigi stuff, so I'm like, let's do Gigi. So, 
yeah that's why we're here for blush i'm gonna use this one here it's called tropic like it's hot I'm just gonna lightly dust my cheeks with oh ariana how can we not talk about ariana she really went for it too and i thought it was very her with her high pony she's so tiny so i feel like tiny people are really hard to dress for these things that are like over the top it was by vera wing all organza super light and pretty and ethereal the last judgment so now that we have all of the face details, let's move back into the eyes. I'm almost positive she has false lashes on, but I don't want to put any on. I'm just going to make my waterline thicker. I thought Pharrell from the guys really killed it. thought he looked great. Blake Lively got a lot of press for her dress. I thought she looked pretty. She was in Versace as well. Yeah, a lot of drama. Very dramatic. Oh, my, one of my other favorites. Did I already mention... Kate Bosworth, she looked like a literal painting. And I didn't even mention Rosie Huntington Whitley. She was one of my favorites. I loved the simplistic halo. I know it was just like literally one thing, but it just looked so beautiful with the rest of her look. I'm just putting this shadow here. I'm gonna do like that little diagonal line that Gigi had on her eyes. I don't have like a liquid liner in that, so that's why I'm using this. And we're just gonna draw the line like that. Ooh, mine's like way more vibrant than hers. Cause color pop. <laughs> Some people that I really didn't like was actually Amal. Not like it. Amal Clooney. I'm not a fan of that combo. I didn't like Lily Aldridge at all either. Looked kind of like out of place. Was not a fan of that. Yeah, mine's gonna be just like a tad more bold, you guys. I thought Kylie was kind of boring. And I love love alexander wang like literally love him but it didn't do any it didn't move me in any way i was just like okay cool on to the next uh nikki minaj i just like i have an issue with nikki minaj like personal issue with her i need to just forgive her i'm gonna take this shade right here and just kind of like blend everything just very lightly yara i know it's chanel and i love chanel which I feel like they really could have gone. I mean, they had literally a whole collection. I think in 2011, that was like pre-fall. That was all like Byzantine, Byzantine, however you say it. It reminded me more of Chanel's Resort 2013, when it was like all the Rococo kind of thing. Like this dress would literally fit right in there from like the pannier, petticoat kind of ruffled thing that goes out to like the stomacher, like that bodice stomacher that's like super elongated and triangular. Oh, another one that I really didn't like, you guys. <gasps> Scarlett Johansson, what happened, girl? I did not like her hair. And I love, she was wearing Marquesa and I love Marquesa. It was really bad, I mean. I did not like that, not even an ounce. Zoe Kravitz killed it in Saint Laurent. I think Kate Moss was also in Saint Laurent. She looked like a little dark angel. It wasn't my favorite, and I love Kate Moss too. There was like a few Joan of Arc type references with like the chainmail and that kind of like armor. I think Zendaya did it the best. Shanae, what's her name? Sh Shailene Woodley or? She looked so uncomfortable, so rigid. You should always be able to walk in confidence if you're gonna take it somewhere there, you know? Like I know Cardi B, I saw her interview, she was like huffing and puffing, but she still came to slay. So those are the eyes, that's the mascara. Hailey Baldwin, they just looked cute together. Um, what's his face, Shawn Mendes? They looked great together, but I thought her dress was so boring. What was she wearing? It was very pretty and I get the angelic, trying to look angelic reference, but Again, I thought it was really boring. So I just got, went ahead and lined my lips with Lip Pencil Chestnut by Laura Mercier. And then I'm going to fill it in with this color by CoverGirl. It is in the shade Champagne Showers. I love this one. And these formulas are pretty good. They last a really long time. I thought Amber Heard looked amazing. See, like, if you want to do the red, take a cue. Cindy Crawford from, like, Amber Heard. I thought she looked really sleek. And, I mean, she always looks sexy. She's just, like, such a beautiful human and she knows how to work a red carpet dress. Elon Musk and Gr Grimes on the other hand, what was that? What was that? I'm like in shock still. Like the Tesla choker could have done anything. You literally could have done anything and you went for that. It was so bad. So I think I covered all of my favorites. I don't know. Hopefully I did. If I didn't, it's okay. We can talk about it in the comments down below. 
So leave your faves and your misses and all that good stuff. You know, I even added a little bit more moisture here with this Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream. This one is in the shade Barely Blush. This is one of my favorites from this collection. So yeah, it just gives it a little tiny bit of health and shine right in the center there. I don't really love a matte lip and it doesn't really look like Gigi's wearing a matte lip either. So there we go. recreation but I do hope you guys enjoyed reviewing the red carpet with me my faves who I thought really nailed it and slayed and who were like my sleepers anyway thank you so much for watching and spending time here with me and I hope to see you in my next video bye guys